apologize apologies what's up y'all it's your girl shad short story so should drink uh whichever you prefer anyway have you ever had somebody that you were, were either with or knew that was unmotivated undriven to do anything but go to work make money make sure that they're able to take care of their bills well unfortunately i have met too many people like that and it is draining nonetheless it is very draining because you have all these big dreams and then when you get to speak to other people that don't have dreams like yours it seems to put a damper on your dreams so therefore you feel like you're crazy for thinking that you deserve better when in reality everybody just thinks differently and there's nothing wrong with that but a long time ago i had to realize that i think completely different from the average person most people only feel like okay i got a check my check is bringing me in enough money for me to take care of my car payment, my house, uh, and whatever extracurricular activities I want to take care of. But I'm like, what about freedom? That's, one, that's another thing that I am a real big believer in. I don't feel like life should be as we live it. The way that we live life, we live life like, okay, I got my family, I get to spend X, Y, and Z time with them. I have work, I have to spend X, Y, and Z time there so that I can provide for my family and go on those nice elaborate vacations. But what if you started to believe that, okay, I can create that for myself. There's always a market, side note, or mental note. There's always a market for whatever it is that you take interest in because guaranteed that there are going to be way more people interested in that one thing you're not going to be that only person that takes interest into that one thing so if you do have a dream or you have something that you that has been sticking with you for your whole life and you're like okay i really want to monetize this but i don't know how that's what point I'm at right now. I don't know how to monetize my books because a lot of people feel like reading is boring. But a lot, many people don't realize that reading can be life changing if you let it. If you find the right book, the right author, reading can be life changing. And you don't realize it at the time because you're just like, oh, I don't want to read this. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so boring. But it's, my first book that I ever picked up, and I didn't think that I was going to like it at all, was Othello. And I really enjoyed that book immensely. And after reading that book, it made me want to read other books, and then other books, and then other books. And then I started to get into authors such as Zane, Allison Hobbs, um, Eric Jerome Dickey, uh, who, who else? Kenneth, right now. But if I do, I'm going to make sure to insert it. Yeah, Kenneth. He was the writer of Little Black Girl Lost. And you start to read books like that because it's a genre for anything. If you like sci-fi, they have sci-fi. If you like um, sci-fi, fantasy, drama, um, nonfiction, literature, uh, documentaries, whatever you like, there is somebody out there that has written it and if they haven't written it might maybe you need to take the opportunity to write your own book if you can't find what you like hey the whole process is a very fun, fun process because you have thoughts that come in your head that you can actually visualize you know you visualize them you write them down and then other people are able to interpret them in their own way that's the beautiful thing about reading a book rather than watching a movie because when you read a book, you're able to see it in a way that you choose to see it. It's not as anybody else depicts it. It's the way that you choose to see it. And it just helps you to have a, a more flavorful imagination. Um, yeah, I've always been a writer. I've always been a writer all the way back from first grade. And finally, I decided, okay... The one good thing I could say that came out of the relationship that I'm currently in is the fact that he helped me realize what I really wanted to do with my life. I already, already knew that I wanted to write, but I didn't know that I wanted to write a book. I didn't start having that realization until maybe about three years, three years ago. So then, you know, getting with him, that helped. But um, yeah, 
if you really enjoy if you really enjoy writing pick up a book write a book hey put that mind to work instead of always watching a video videos are fun they cool you know the digital the digital aspect about it the different graphics that they're able to put into a video that's all cool or whatever but your true that helps also to expand your imagination but i just feel like a good book a good read is something that really really catapults the way that you see the world the way that you see different situations and it just doesn't feel as controlled or non-possible when you read it makes you feel like all things are possible people that are religious they feel like a lot of things are possible too i'm very spiritual i wouldn't say that i'm very religious i don't know how that ties in <laughs> but i just stumbled upon that but i'm very spiritual but anyway if you enjoy reading books, if you enjoy reading anything, go check out Shad Short Stories. The link will be in the description. Yes, go and check out Shad Short Stories. Let me know what you think. Um, some of the stories that I can refer you to if you want to read a um, short story are Hypnotically Beautiful. I need to update date that one, but it's a very good story if you want to go and check that out. That one is about... Um, a little girl who is born to a family back in well it's teetering between a younger girl that's born in the, in the 2000s and then a younger girl that was born in the 17 1796 well she wasn't born in 1796 but she was born in the 1700s and right now in the point of the story we're we're talking about uh alexia alexis alexia's grandmother and Alexia's grandmother is the one back from the 1700s and her name is Sadie and the problem with Sadie is her parents are slaves but she does not resemble her parents at all because her mother well you'll go over there and you'll find out well when you go over there and you find out it's a lot of magic a lot of supernatural fantasy so when you go over there, you check it out. Let me know what you think. Make sure to let, drop a comment. Either drop a comment here, drop a comment on my blog site. We'll would really appreciate it. Her ability to feel in control when so many people believe that it's a man's world. And she lets those men that think that they're going to get over her because she's a woman. She let them know quick. No, you're not going to get over on me because I am not the one. Well, those are two. It's a loyalty. Loyalty is available in Amazon, on Amazon in a paperback and digital form. So you can go and check that one out. That one is an LGBT. Um, two husbands. One is very flamboyant and the other one is just coming out of a heterosexual relationship with his ex-wife. Has two kids. But he seems to have a problem with keeping his, his penis in his pants. Okay? He has a problem with keeping his penis in his pants. And... As a result of it, he keeps cheating on his husband, but not with men, with other women. And one of these affairs led to him having a five-year-old son, and the five-year-old son has a mother that he constantly tells he loves her, but as time goes on, you realize that he loves no one but himself. But yeah, if you want to check that out, go and check it out on Amazon. Amazon.com or Kindle. Kindle Amp. Is it Amazon Kindle? Yeah, check it out there. The first two chapters are free. If you have Prime, I believe that the whole book is free if you have Prime. I'm not sure. It was that way, but I think the promotion is off. Well, as always, I'm bringing this video. This video was at a close. So, don't know what time you're watching this. Might be day, might be night, but have a beautiful rest of your day. All right.